Hey guys, welcome back. So I have a special treat to my left, which is your right. I got you backwards. Um, there is a bag of Bath and Body Works stuff. So we're doing a Bath and Body Works Halloween slash fall haul. Um, so let me lift her up. Ugh, things heavy. There is quite a bit in here. Total, I spent 150 in three separate hauls. Um, I did use two rewards, so we'll start off with that. The first thing I got was the leaf single candle holder. This is one of my rewards. This is $14.95. They also have a three-wick holder that is a different type of leaf, and I was torn between that and this, and I like this one better because it has the three different colors on it, so that's pretty. It's got actually four. It's got like a gold, like a yellow, a red, and an orange on it, but yeah, it's super pretty, and then I also got the ghost which is supposed to be, um, oh, what is it called? You plug it in and it's like, like a light up, glow in the dark, I don't know. Fiber optic, that's what I'm talking about. So it's supposed to be fiber optic, so I got the ghost. This is originally $16.95, but I got it for free rewards. How cute is he? Not that I need any more of these, but we'll see. Alright, so that was my other freebie. When I went and got those two freebies, I actually purchased this one because it was on sale for $14.95. Um, this was the last day of the $14.95 candle sale. This is originally $29.95. So I figured that was at least 50% off, so it wasn't too bad. I didn't have any coupons, unfortunately. Now, I'm torn about this. I've smelt, I've smelt the mist and the body lotion, and I wasn't as big of a fan as the candle. The candle smells absolutely amazing. It's golden pear, jasmine blooms, and illuminated woods. You get jasmine on this and the woods a little bit, but it smells super like um, a really nice perfume, a feminine perfume. I could see myself wearing so I like this and the design is cute and it's got little fireflies well they're supposed to be fireflies but they're just light specks on the side so that's super cute and then um, I did another candle haul that went with the $14.95 um, which would have been, this was um, 8-6. Yeah. So this was three days ago. There's no way that was three days ago. That's because that's not the right one. This was seven twenty four. That sounds more like it. So this was to go with the... Um, candle. Apparently, I'm missing one of my receipts. So maybe there's four hauls in here, and I just didn't realize it. Which would make sense, but these are originally thirty-six ninety-five, and I got them for fourteen. 95. This is Midnight Spell. It's got the cool snake on there. This is actually Hefty Lid. Now this candle, I was unsure of at first, but now that I've gotten to smell it a lot, it doesn't smell too bad. It smells like woods, basically. It's Mystic Air, Moonlight Woods, and Crystal Amber. And I definitely get that amber smell, too. But super classy, black packaging, love it. Can't wait to get my Halloween stuff out. I got the Vampire Blood, which is $26.95. It's got the cool skull 
lid, which I think is my favorite lid out of all of them. Simple but cute. Can't go wrong with vampire blood. Um, everybody knows it. Blood red strawberries, midnight blooming jasmine, and dark, dark Transylvanian plum. If I sound like I can't talk, it's because I can't. Um, my label does have a little bit of a bubble in it, which that doesn't bother me. Uh, not a big deal. But it's like raised. It's cute. Um, <coughs> I've uh, been fighting a sinus infection for two weeks. So I'm dying. Just so you know. Or feel like it at least. Um, this one is Everlasting Magic. This one actually surprised me. So I really enjoyed the body spray the first couple days that I wore it. But then it kind of... I don't know if it got hot and then it's like too like dark and fall like but I still enjoy it I really like the candle somehow mine got wax on it so I'm gonna have to play with that and scrape that off I'll figure that out later not a big issue it looks like I've uh, been not so nice to it, so it may have melted a little bit at some point. Um, this is, and the sticker. I don't know who did this batch, but they sucked. Um, Bejeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Enchanted Musk. Originally $36.95, super cool lid. It does not, it's not like stuck on there, per se. But I think I would make a really cute coaster when I use the candle up. Definitely enjoy that. I wouldn't mind buying another one of those. But I may exchange that one just because of the quality it's in. And this one is Moonlit Graveyard, which is Tombstone Moss, Cold Foggy Air, and Eerie, Air in Death, Eerie Incense. Which I was super excited about. It's got this cool ghost, and it's like... um almost like a cement feel on the lid this one fits really nicely and I definitely get that tombstone and incense smell out of it packaging is super cute with a carriage on it and the horse and the raven so I'm excited to burn that and I think they just did phenomenal on this one I would not be opposed to picking up a second one of this one either, even though I have too many candles. But those are the candles that I got from that haul. I don't remember what else I picked up with that haul. No, I think I just got that one. But I'm pretty sure I got that on uh, $7.24 because I did that as an online order and then I went in store and picked up some other stuff. They had quite a bit on sale. So, I got the fine fragrances were all half off. Buy three, get three. So, I've got Midnight Spell, which I just read the notes to you. Um, it's got cool little spiders on it. I got this both the mist and the lotion. I think, yep. Lotion Gentile. This is the Mystic Air, Moonlit Woods, and Crystal Amber. Now, in the body care, you get a lot more strong, a stronger scent of the Crystal Amber. Because that is 90% of what I smell in here. It's not bad, but it's definitely a false scent. Definitely a very masculine scent. This could be a unisex scent, so I think if my boyfriend liked manly scents, he would enjoy this. He likes more clean scents, so he probably would not like this, but those were 50% off. I picked up Vampire Blood. Look at that pretty rose on there. I love this packaging. We all know it's Red Berries, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Petrifying Plum. One of my faves. And I can wear this one all year round. I'm thinking about picking up a second one of these too. 
we'll have to see. I already have enough, but I got that and also the body spray and the lotion. I love the lotion, the darker rose. Just kind of looks like it lifts off the package. Super pretty. And then I've been wearing this one a ton, the Everlasting Magic. Told you it was a surprise scent for me. And this one has the jewels on it instead of the spiders in the webs. Which is cool because they all correlate together, I think. And this one is the Bejeweled Berries Phantom Petals and Magic Musk. You definitely get the petal afterwards, but you get the berry up front. So I'm really excited to wear this come September. I will probably dig this out and wear this quite a bit. And um, I'm excited. And of course, it's my favorite color. It's purple. So you can't go wrong. I think they did a phenomenal job on the body care for Halloween. Like, straight up fantastic. Um, great job. So, with that, I did end up getting <coughs> buy three, get three. And then I did the, um, add a coupon for the Vampire Blood Cleansing Gel Hand Soap for $3. So, I picked this up because I had a coupon. How cute is that? I don't use gel hand soaps very often, but this one is one of my favorite scents, so I definitely will know. I know I will use it eventually. Not that I really need any more hand soaps, but I don't have a ton of fall ones, so that that's fine. I also picked up on this same haul a bunch of wallflowers. Which are mostly Halloween ones. I picked up a Vampire Blood. I actually think I got two of the Vampire Bloods. Now this one says Blood Red Strawberries. It's different from the body spray. So it just smells like the candle. The body spray is slightly different because it's got different scent notes. But that's not bad. I, I, I can always handle a Vampire Blood. And yeah, I did pick up two. I love that they put the little rose on the those two. I picked up a linen and lavender because I like that one. This one is crisp linen, lavender, sea salt, and fresh air breeze. I've had this a couple times. I love it. Or I love it, so I picked up another one. Um, my boyfriend prefers clean scents, so he'll appreciate that one. I try not to go too outside the box for him on wallflowers just because we have one in the kitchen one in the living room and one in the bathroom so there's quite a few of them um this one is coffee and whiskey lightly brewed coffee hint of vanilla and bold irish whiskey um so i thought i'd give this one a try wasn't too bad to me on cold sniff on the candle I picked up <clears throat> Moonlit Graveyard as the Wallflower plug because how cute is that? It's got a little moon on it. Sorry about the reflectiveness of the package. Um, it has the same scent notes as the candle. And then I also picked up the Wicked Vanilla Woods, which they did not bring back in the body care. But they did bring it back in the Wallflower, so I'm cool with that. Um, this is Magical Vanilla Glowing Amber Wood and Enchanted Pink Pepper. I like this and I did not pick it up. This looks like it's been damaged. I hope the wick inside is okay. Um, I did not pick up the Fragrance Mist last year when they had it. Um, just because I was kind of over vanilla at the time. I had been working on Warm Vanilla Sugar for a long time. And the previous year and so I was over vanilla. Now I'm kind of back in it. I love that it's a dark color. It's like a blue, almost gray. It's super pretty. And then that was the last of the wallflowers I picked up. And then I also got a freebie. This is the Ghoul Friend Diamond Shimmer Mist. How pretty is that purple? It does not have the scent notes on this, but I have the candle somewhere. And I like the candle, so I figured I'd like the shimmer mist. And it's not super big, so I won't have it forever. Because I don't wear glitter a ton. But this is fun. 
Um, and then my last haul was on Sunday, which was the 6th, because they had the fine fragrance, um, for 95 sale. And then I bought some hand soap because they were 5 for 25 Not that that's really a sale, and they have a hand soap sale in a couple days, but I seen this and I couldn't pass it up. It's afternoon apple picking. I did pick up one of those i'm thinking i might go back and get a second one because this is really good it's crisp apple succulent pear and cinnamon and normally um i'm not a huge fan of cinnamon but this smells straight up like juicy apples you bite in an apple and that's what it smells like i love the smell of apples i'm not a big taste person green apples are good but other than that i don't like red apples then I picked up this cute one in Sunrise Wood with the little raised leaves on it. I like Sunrise Woods. I got the candle last year and they came out with a hand soap this year, which is creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. Um, you wouldn't think that I would like it because it has the cashmere in it. And <coughs> pardon me. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love it. And I think it's because I get the sandalwood and the berries. And I love sandalwood. So, super pretty. I also picked up Mountainside Mist, which is just a white barn label. This is chilled open air, fresh musk, and juniper berries. I pretty much love anything with juniper berry in it. Um, I'm almost done with the Balance Pillow Mist. And it's uh, in juniper and coriander. And this reminds me of it. It's so refreshing, so nice. I may pick up a second one of these too, because I like this one too. Make sure I don't get it on my nose. Um, I picked up White Orchid Woods, uh, Frosted Orchids, Bright Bergamot, and White Woods. Now I like orchids, I like bergamot. I didn't get a very good smell on this in the store, so let's try it. This is very light and natural so it'll make a really nice universal hand soap any time of year the package is folly fall isk with the acorns and stuff but it's super cute um i'm totally cool with that and then the last hand soap i got is autumn s'mores which i thought was fun with a cute design it's crisp apple gooey marshmallow and cinnamon spice love apple love marshmallow and I get straight up s'mores out of this. Like, it smells like a fresh s'more graham cracker without the burnt campfire smell, which is really nice. So, I thought that was fun. So, I picked up those five hand soaps. And then I also picked up four body sprays. I picked up Together Weather with the cute leaves on it. This is one of the fall scents. It's Blushing Breeze, Sugared Cardamom, and Soft Cedar. Um, I'm still on the fence about this one. It smells very mature, but at the same time, it smells sugary, and I think I like it, but I'm not sure. I, it'll have to grow on me, but I, I know I like this one. This is Champagne, Apple, and Honey. I picked up a second one because I love the bottle on it, which I'm so glad I did because I couldn't remember if I did. I was like, I want it so bad again because the other one I have doesn't have as pretty packaging as this. So I got this one instead. And then I picked up the Chasing Fireflies, which is the Golden Pear, Jasmine Blooms, and Illuminating Woods. Now this one, I smelt out of the bottle. I was like, mm, you know, I don't know if I like it. But when you get it on you, it smells nice. So it's growing on me. And I might have to pick up the lotion because this would be really nice lotion. And then last but not least, which isn't really a fall scent, is Underwater Oasis that I picked up. Um... So it's got this like iridescent thing on the thing. Um, <laughs> that makes sense. Iridescent. Um, I don't know. It's like a raised area that shines. Um, this is sparkling bergamot, jasmine, and blue musk. I like jasmine. I like bergamot. So 
and I've had this in the past. So I know I like this one as soon as it dries down. Yeah, so we're, and this is a faceted, which is really nice because these are $18.95 and I got it for $4.95. So that's my haul, everybody. I saved, let me see if I can do the math. Oh, minus the candles. So really with the candles, it was like 200 bucks. But I know I saved more than half on all of the candles. But this one says I saved 70. This one says I saved 86. And the other one said something else. But I saved quite a bit. So that's all I got. You gotta definitely check out those deals. Keep your eyes peeled. There's a lot of different sales coming up uh, the closer we get to Halloween. Um, save your rewards for some of the cool pocket bags that are coming out. The um, wallflower plugs that are the cheaper ones. Some of the single wick holders. Because these qualify for free rewards. So definitely look into that. But thought you guys would like a cool sneak peek at Halloween and fall and what I have gotten. Hope you guys all have a good weekend. See y'all later. Bye guys.